nothing in the world pisses me off more than liberal id poll. Lib shit id poll. We've been seeing it for quite a while now during this election cycle. So if you're a Democrat, you vote Democrat, or you're following the Dems in, in, in the debates and all that and all the coverage and whatnot, you've probably seen um, liberal outlets like CNN and whatnot hardcore shilling for female and brown candidates regardless of their politics compared to Bernie because he's a white guy. Now, on a base level, I understand this, right? Um, it is probably a good thing to promote groups that have have been disenfranchised in the past when it comes to like an election like having a female president in principle is cool having a non-white president in principle is cool when you consider the history of america of you know oppressing brown people of you know oppressing women so on and so on on base level this sounds good the problem is when you account for liberal id poll this results in valuing identity over policy. Bernie Sanders is without a doubt the most progressive candidate running in this election. Without a question. Um, he is the most feminist candidate. He is the most pro-brown people candidate. He is the most pro-working class candidate on that stage. However, he is an old white man. And so lib, lib shits and their identity politics don't like him simply because of his identity despite his policy. And we've been seeing this very, very often where um, like large liberal public figures will do things like, um, uh, how could you vote for Bernie over Tulsi or Klobuchar or, or Warren? They're women. How can you vote for another old wrinkly white man regardless and not really caring about what, he, what, you know, what he's advocating for, what his policies are? Um, and it's really annoying, and for a while it was just sort of a dumb thing that pissed me off when I saw it, but I didn't really pay it much attention. But holy fucking shit, guys. The other night was the 6th or 8th, I can't remember, Democratic debate, and it was probably the most disgusting display towards Bernie I've ever seen. It was hosted by CNN. Um, people affiliated with CNN were asking the questions. It was actually fucking disgusting. It was the seventh debate. Thank you. All right. Here it is. This is the first part I want to show you guys. It's act Okay. So for those of you guys that don't know, because it is important to know this, um, the, the context around this, prior to this debate, um, an anonymous source in Elizabeth Warren's campaign came out to say that some at some point in private, Bernie Sanders said that um, or said to Warren in private, face to face, he that he doesn't think a woman could be the president. Now, if you have more than two brain cells to rub together, you probably know that that is a blatant lie. That is a blatant. What a fucking liar, dude. That is a blatant lie. Because there is a plurality of evidence to support the fact that Bernie does in fact think a woman can and should be president. Um, in fact, there are clips of him as far back as the 80s saying that he absolutely thinks a woman can be president. If Bernie Sanders, if Bernie Sanders back in the 80s said he thinks a woman can and should be president, I don't think he's going to flip on that in fucking 2020. He absolutely believes a woman could be president, and that is clearly a fucking lie. However, it's being run with. The, the, the CNN and a lot of, like, the lib shit fucking id pollers are running with it, and it's fucking disgusting. Um, and Elizabeth Warren is a snake for supporting it. But let's watch this clip. Involving that question right here from the debate, um, just to give you guys an idea how, how fucking disgusting this is, look at this like to dislike ratio. 17,000 dislikes to 1.6k likes. People are not fucking happy with this, and they shouldn't be. This is a disgusting display on the part of CNN. Let's not turn to an issue that's come up in the last 48 hours. Senator Sanders, CNN reported yesterday that, and Senator Sanders, Senator Warren confirmed in a statement that in 2018, you told her that you did not believe that a woman could win the election. Why did you say I'd also like to clarify right now, this is really important because it just completely fucking yeets 
um, the entire argument that, um, or the lie, I should say, that um, Warren supporters are perpetuating here, the only reason Sanders, Bernie Sanders, ran in 2016 was because he asked Elizabeth Warren to run for president, and she declined, and he said, okay, I'll run instead. He ran because she wouldn't. And now she's making up lies about him saying that a woman could never win. This is literally every bit of evidence supports this being a lie. There is nothing other than hearsay and an anonymous source claiming that this was said. And I really doubt it. Um, but let's watch this fucking horrible display of um, just destruction of credibility by CNN here. Say that. Well, as a matter of fact, I didn't say it. Uh, and I don't want to waste a whole lot of time on this because this is what Donald Trump and maybe some of the media want. Uh, anybody knows me knows that it's incomprehensible that I would think that a woman could not be president of the United States. Go to YouTube True. today. There's a video of, the, of me 30 years ago talking True. about how a woman could become president of the United States. True. In 2015, I deferred, in fact, to Senator Warren. There was a movement to draft Senator Warren to run for president. And you know what? I said, stayed back. Senator Warren decided not to run, and I did, I did run afterwards. Hillary Clinton won the popular vote by three million votes. How could anybody in a million years not believe that a woman could become president of the True. United States? And let me be very clear. If any this is the look of somebody this right here, Warren's face right now, is the look of somebody who is having a lie that they've made get absolutely annihilated on stage. This is probably the best response that Bernie could have had to this. He, like, every single thing he's brought up is factual and completely, dis like, destroys this lie that Bernie um, thinks that a woman can't be president. It's just simply not true. Any of the women on this stage or any of the men on this stage? win the nomination. I hope that's not the case. I hope it's me. <laughs> but if they do, I will do everything in my power to make sure that they are elected in order to defeat the most dangerous president in the history of our country. So, so this is why I love Bernie, all right? He's a team player and he's a good fucking sport. Even if Warren, who's been lying about him, ends up winning, which he probably will, it'll probably be Biden or Warren. They're like the two most likely, in my opinion. He still accepts that, yeah, she may have lied about me, she's a piece of shit, but we gotta take down Trump. Trump's gotta grow. Even if Warren is a lying piece of shit, she's better than Trump. And and that's something that I appreciate about w Bernie. Bernie is just such a fucking good sport about this. Like, I don't feel, I don't think I could keep my composure and, and be such a good sport like, like Bernie is if I was in his place. I couldn't do it. I would be so angry. Senator Sanders, Senator Sanders, I do want to be clear here. You're saying that you never told Senator Warren that a woman could not win the election. That is correct. Senator Warren, what did you think when Senator Sand Sanders told you a woman could not win the election? <laughs> I disagree. I kid you not, when I first saw this clip, I thought it was fake. The clip, the, the bit that we just watched right there, I thought it was fake. I thought it was like The Onion or, or like one of those accounts. Because there's on, on Twitter, there's an a account called CMM News. And they make, um, it's like a, a, it's a parody account that um, parodies like, you know, it, it sort of exasperates or, or, it, or it does like an exaggeration of CNN's bias against Bernie. And, and and bias towards uh, Warren and, and, and whatnot. When I first saw this on Twitter, I thought it was like an edit. I thought like some, because you couldn't see the question being asked on screen. When I first saw it, I was so disgusted by it. I was like, there's no way that's real. There, there's no way this is real. And then I saw it on here and I was like, oh my God, they actually did this. We don't need to watch the rest of this clip. Warren's response is just canned response it's like oh I, I disagree blah blah yeah we don't need to see it elizabeth warren is a piece of shit and we're about to see that even more in a second um this is a disgusting display by cnn here um it is a complete lie and a rumor 
in fact, uh, that, that he said this. There is literally no evidence whatsoever to support that this happened um, in any way, shape, or form. It's it's actually insane. Also, um, the, re the response that we're seeing from the fucking libshit id pollers on Twitter right now, I'm, I'm so sad I got banned because, God, I wish I could read these tweets. Um, so... One of them was, so big things happening right now where people are spamming, um, Elizabeth Warren is a snake, and, and like the snake emoji. And there was this lady on Twitter who, who's like really popular, she's like a blue check mark, quote tweeted one of the tweets calling her a snake and like the people spamming snake emojis, and they're saying, wow, they're calling uh, Warren a snake, which is a sexist insult. If you trace back the snake in the Bible, you can see that it was the snake that convinced uh, uh, Eve to take a bite of the apple that doomed the human race. More misogyny coming from the Bernie bros. Like, the most ridiculous, out, far-fetched, smooth brain, fucking... Id poll bullshit I've ever seen. Um, peak lib shit is all I have to say. Peak lib shit. Um, so the next thing we're going to take a look at here, um, this is after the debate, and um, their microphones were still on. The microphones picked this up. This is like an interaction between Bernie and um, and, and Warren that, uh, that I just... I'm so glad this exists. Um, this shows me, like, this proves to me that, like, Bernie Sanders is just a fucking great guy um, because of uh, how good of a sport he is here in this clip. It's it's very short, but let's take a look. I'm going to roll it and have you talk about, this was after the debate, this moment between Elizabeth Warren and uh, Bernie Sanders, Tom Steyer happens upon the scene. This is, this is one of those things that we love about politics that we wish they'd leave the camera up C-SPAN yeah. style, but... We're clearly having words, and if you Wait, know- Wait, why, why is it not showing it in this video? Wait, does it not show? Fucking hell, dude. I want to see- Oh, here's the clip. This should be the- This should be the clip. Here it is. And good evening, I'm Anderson Cooper, live from the Democratic debate in Des Moines, Iowa. This was it, the last time Americans will hear the Democratic candidates all on a stage together, hearing them debate before the first votes are cast. Wait, what? No, I swear, there was a video on Twitter where you could actually hear, where you could actually hear what they were saying. Was, is there not a video? I swear, there was a video where you could hear what they were saying. They deleted it? I saw it on Twitter. The videos on CNN. Someone in chat. Someone in chat. Send it to me now. Come on. Go to my Twitter. Oh yeah, yeah, Lonnie. Twitter.com forward slash Lumilani GTG. Yeah, it's on your Twitter. My girlfriend saving the day. By the way, if you haven't already, uh, uh, go follow my girlfriend on Twitter. She's very hot. Look at this. Look, this is my girlfriend. She's extremely hot. Go follow her on Twitter. Okay. This is the uh, this is the clip right here. I believe. I think you called me a liar on national TV. What? I think you called me a liar on national you know, TV. Let's not do it right now. You want to have that discussion? We'll have that Any discussion. You called me. You told me. All right. Let's not do it. I'm now. Not, I don't want to get in the middle. I just want to say hi, Bernie. Yeah. Good. Let's okay. <laughs> I think you called. Okay. Um. So fuck Elizabeth Warren. Um, like, serious, well, not literally, um, I, I would, no, don't, she's a disgusting human being, but, like, fuck Elizabeth Warren, fuck you, you snake, you cunt, if you, it, if it ends up being you and Trump, I'll still vote for you, because we gotta stop Trump, but I won't be happy about it, and I will fucking, I will, I will do this to my fucking poll machine as I click your name on the ballot if it ends up being you. I want it to be Bernie, but because... Of you fuckers. Look, Bernie was going in for the handshake, too. He was being such a good sport. Like, yeah, you lied about me on stage, but can we put this behind us, please? And she's like, you caught me a liar on national TV. Like, why were you lying then? Fucking hell. I love the other dude. Fuck, I forgot what his name is. Ah, uh, what is his name? He was so... He just really wanted to shake Bernie's hand. This would be me. This is like, um... Look at, look at this. So, uh, it's when you go visit, like, I, I saw some really good memes of this. When you go to visit your friend's house. Oh, Steyer. Yeah, yeah, Steyer. So, 
when you go to visit your friend's house and their parents are fighting and you and you walk up and you want to ask uh you want to ask where the cups are so you can get yourself a a cup of water <laughs> oh god true yeah i would absolutely have walked up and been like hey bernie i just want to shake your hand because like she denied the handshake and he was like i want to shake your hand i want to shake your hand bernie i fucking oh oh that's great but yeah, this is actually actually disgusting. Like a, a fucking terrible um, display of bias and um, and just disgusting lack of uh, of credibility coming from CNN. I mean, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know it was this bad. I, I honestly like I expect this kind of shit from like a parody account. Maybe not from like um, Saturday Night Live since that's lib shit propaganda as well. But um, but I mean like from like a, a like a parody account on twitter or something this is like beyond beyond something i thought could happen in reality but now i know just how fucking how much of a snake warren is and um how little credibility i i should give to cnn from now on amazing disgusting <laughs>